Here or Kiru, Maldivian, Kiru is a rice pudding, originating from the Indian subcontinent, made by boiling rice, broken wheat, tapioca, or vermicelli with milk and sugar. It is flavored with cardamom, raisins, saffron, cashews, pistachios or almonds. It is typically served during a meal or as a dessert. It is also known in some regions as payasm, payasa, and firni, while in Bengal the payesh is a variation of kir. Names the Sanskrit name is Kasira Kasira, Payasam. In Hindi and Marathi, Kira Kir, Punjabi, Kur Kira Odia, Kiri Kiri, Sindhi, Kur Urdu, Kur Divehi, Kiru. In Nepali, it is also known as Payasam Tamil, Payakam Telugu, Payasam Malayalam, Payasam Payasa, Kannada, Payasa Payesh, Bengali, Payasa Fash, Silati, Payaks, Assamese, Payasa or Pais Payasa in Konkani. The word payasm is derived from payasa, meaning milk. In Gujarati, it is often called dude pak. It is also known as ferni in some parts of Silhet and Iran as ferna. Regional variations Kheer is prepared in festivals, temples, and all special occasions. The term kheer, used in North India, may derive from the Sanskrit word k shira, which means Milk. Other terms like payasm or payesh used in the Bengal region are derived from the Sanskrit word payasa or payasm, which also means milk. It is prepared using milk, rice, ghee, sugar, jaggery, and koya. Some also add a little bit of heavy cream for a richer taste. It is often garnished using almonds, cashews, raisins and pistachios. There is one more popular version of North Indian kheer, prepared during festivals and haven in Varanasi by using only milk, rice, ghee, sugar, cardamom, dried fruit, and kesar, saffron milk. It is an essential dish in many Hindu feasts and celebrations. While the dish is most often made with rice, it can also be made with other ingredients, such as vermicelli, samia in South India, sevian, sevian, savaya, or other spellings, or tapioca, locally known as sabadana. Rice was known to the Romans, and possibly introduced to Europe as a food crop, dating as early as the 8th or 10th century AD, and so the recipe for the popular English rice pudding is believed by some to be descended from Kheer. Similar rice recipes, originally called potages, go back to some of the earliest written recipes in English history. East Indian version the Odia version of rice kheer, Hayas in northern Odisha, likely originated in the city of Puri, in Odisha more than 2,000 years ago. It is cooked to this day within the temple precincts there. Every single day, hundreds of temple cooks work around 752 hearths in what is supposed to be the world's largest kitchen to cook over 100 different dishes, including kheer, enough to feed at least 10,000 people. Payas is also regarded as an auspicious food and generally associated with Anaprashana, weaning ritual of an infant, as well as other festivals and birthday celebrations in an Odia household. Although white sugar is commonly used, adding gur, jaggery, as a sweetener, is an interesting and extremely delicious variation prepared in Bengal and Odisha, especially during winter and spring when fresh gur is available. In Bengal, it is called payas or payash. A traditional Bengali meal can be traced 2,000 years old and it is one of important sweet dish payas followed by other sweets. Payesh is also regarded as an auspicious food and generally associated with Anaprashana, weaning ritual of an infant, and Janmadithi, birthday, in a Bengali household. It is called kheer in Bengali if milk is used in a significantly greater amount than rice. The people of West Bengal and Bangladesh prepare payesh with gur, kataki, glutinous rice, vermicelli, semolina and coconut milk, and the result is a stickier and creamier dessert. In Assam, it is called payox and in addition to other dried fruits, cherries are added to give it a light delicate pink color. Sometimes rice may be replaced with sago. It is one of the most significant desserts served in Assamese families and quite often a part of religious ceremonies. In Bihar, it is called Chawal Ki Kheer. It is made with rice, full fat cream, milk, sugar, cardamom powder, an assortment of dried fruits, and saffron. Another version of this kheer, called rasiya, is made with jaggery. Jaggery is used instead of sugar in the process. 
The jaggery version looks brown in color and has a mild, sweet taste. South Indian version the South Indian version, Payasam, Tamil, Payakam Malayalam, Payasam pronounced Pajasam, Telugu, Payasam or Payasa, a Kannada term, Kannada, Payasa is an integral part of traditional South Indian meals. South Indian Payasam also makes extensive use of jaggery, Tamil, Bellam Bellam, Telugu, Bellam Bellam, Kannada, Bella Bella, Malayalam, Sakara Sharkara, and coconut milk in place of sugar and milk. Vermicelli, Samia, is commonly used. The most common types of payasam in South India include pal, milk payasam, javarisi, sago, tapioca pearl, payasam, samia, vermicelli, payasam, harapu, dal, payasam, nei, ghee payasam, also known as aravana payasam, carrot payasam, wheat payasam, wheat rava, wheat semolina payasam, and arisi thenge, coconut and rice payasam, which is a traditional Iyengar style recipe. In a South Indian meal, payasam or payasa, is served first at any formal or auspicious occasion. Payasam is also served after rasam rice, while rice with buttermilk forms the last item of the meal. Payasam also forms an integral part of the Kerala feast, sadhya, where it is served and relished from the flat banana leaf instead of cups. In Malayali or Kerala cuisine, there are several different kinds of payasam that can be prepared from a wide variety of fruits and starch bases, an example being chakapradaman made from jackfruit pulp and adipradaman made from flat ground rice. The Hyderabadi version is called gil e firdaus. It is a thick kheer made with milk and bottle gourd. Gil e firdaus, literally translated, means the clay of paradise. Payasam is served as an offering to the gods in South Indian Hindu temples during rituals and ceremonies. In Kerala, Ambalapuza Pal Payasam, Milk Kheer, is a famous payasam. Regional versions Across the subcontinent, Kheer is prepared and eaten at festivals. It is offered to Hindu deities as a bhog or prasadam. The dish is also consumed during Ramadan and prepared for the feasts of Muslim weddings and festivals, such as Eid ul Fitr and Eid ul Adha. A similar dessert, known as ferni, is eaten in Iran, Azerbaijan, Afghanistan and among the Muslim communities of India, Bangladesh and Pakistan. Today, restaurants offer ferni in a wide range of flavors, similar to kheer. Ferni used ground rice rather than whole rice. See also Rice pudding Porridge Kira Sagara References, <references>